<laughs> in our educational series. Uh, take one, 12th of October. Go. You've only four hours and 57 minutes now of footage, all right? Are we good? We're good to go. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to warm up for your back squat. Uh, and this is kind of more so if you're going for a heavy single or a heavy triple or a heavy set of five. So the first thing to take into account is the things you're going to start doing before you start moving around with a bar. These are just the things we do ourselves and it's not going to fit everybody perfectly. So first thing to take into account is I usually don't start warming up with weightlifting shoes on. I'll usually wear a kind of a flat shoe um, and then I'll start off with like a body weight warm up circuit. So what I usually start off with is just an air squat. Something I prefer to do as I'm starting my air squats is to have my stance a small bit narrower with my toes a small bit uh, more in front than they will be able to decide. I tend to have issues with tightness in my quads so this just helps me warm up my quads a bit more and make it more anteriorly focused. So normal air squats and just getting a small bit deeper as I tend to go through and then going out to my normal squat width. Then I'll go on to something like a split squat. And I can progress the split squat then into a lunge or something like that. If I want to start progressing these further, so if I'm very, very tight or very sore from DOMS or something like that, I'll start grabbing a wall ball or a med ball or even a kettlebell just to start weighting those body weight exercises and progressing them a small bit further. So if I've gone through some air squats, some lunges, possibly some sit ups, some uh, body weight good mornings, and some back extensions, if everything looks good there, I'll progress on to putting weightlifting shoes on or powerlifting shoes on and start squatting with a bar. I've obviously checked first that I'm not too tight anywhere. So if I'm sitting down and I can't really get my knees in front of my toes or if my back is very, very tight or likewise if my shoulders are very tight, I'm going to have to hit either or any of those areas with something like a tennis ball or a foam roller before I even start moving on. Assuming all that feels okay and I'm warming up with no pain or anything, I'm going to pop off flat shoes and put on some weightlifting shoes. Are we going to cut this bit out? No, no, it's just a thing, isn't it? I play, do you want know music when... Um, you're on hold. I'll be ringing like Aircom or something. Yeah, do you know when Aircom ring you and they're like... Uh, but it's playing kind of like... Yeah. Jesus, there's a ball spot. I'm only joking. Hey. I'm only joking. You're not training, you're just receding. <laughs> so, now that we have weightlifting shoes on or whatever shoes you use to, to squat in, what I'll do is I'll run through that circuit once more. So I probably ran through it two or three times with just flat shoes or no shoes at all on. I'll run through it once more. So I'll just get into a normal squat with stance. Just do some air squats, just the body weight. As long as everything feels okay, I'll move on to a barbell then. Just at this point, it's important to note that all my squat sets start with a barbell. Doesn't matter how heavy I'm going, I always start with an empty bar. So I'll unwrap the bar. I'll get set up and then for my first few sets, I'm just going nice and slow on the way down and slow on the way up too. So it'll be Assuming my squats today are going to go for a heavy single, what I'll usually start off with is sets of five with a barbell, then sets of five with 60 kilos, and then sets of five with 100 kilos. Then it just depends on where my max is. I'll usually build up in around 10 kilo or 10% increments. So if my max back squat is 20 kilos, I'll usually go 60 to 100, and then I'll go 100, 120, 140, 180. And then once I get above 90%, it will kind of change what kind of increments I take. So if I was going to go to uh, 200 kilos for a single, I'd go 5 reps at 60, 5 reps at 100, 5 reps at 120, then I'd drop it down to 3s, and I'd go 3 at 140, 3 at 160, then I'd drop to 2s, 
I do two at 90%, which for that would be 180 kilos. And then I might just do a single after that at 95% and then go to your 100% for one.